Most Afghans migrated out of the country after the Soviet invasion in 1979. After three decades, Afghans are scattered all over the world now. About half a million Afghans are living in the United States, and the majority is here in the Bay Area, in the city of Fremont. The weather, the relaxed nature of this city, and its diversity make it the perfect place to raise a family. The major challenges of the first generation of Afghan Americans are money, including uh, language barriers, transportation, uh, laws and regulations, and just supporting their families. But the second generation of Afghan Americans have entirely different set of challenges. The major challenge was uh, economic, transportation, mm -hmm. and uh, to get used to the new environment. I think it's the parents not understanding how hard it is for kids to be uh, in this culture and to grow up in this culture. It's not easy, um, you know, going to school and, and people can date and have boyfriends and go to prom and be in sports, be a cheerleader, and for Afghans, that's a taboo. About three years ago, Afghan satellite TV stations started broadcasting. This has brought a major change into the lives of Afghans and has brought the community closer. The first Afghan-American satellite TV in the Northern California is Noor TV. The vision of this TV is bringing cultural identity to our youth and helping the older generation to acculturate to the American culture. Noor TV's youngest show hosts are presenting their game show in their native language, Dari. Hoping to reduce the hardship of migration for every generation, Afghans are eagerly getting their information and entertainment from their television sets for now. Farima Wassel, K Art News.